always from my car. I always wonder if I should be filming in my car to start my what I eat in a days off. Let me know down below if you like to see me first thing in the morning on my way to work out or if you prefer to just wait until I get home. But as always, I'm on my way to boot camp. It is Monday morning and I'm ready for this workout. It's cold. It's 37 degrees, so I'm bundled up in a sweatshirt. I actually have some gloves in the back of my car where my weights and things are. I think I'm even going to throw some gloves on this morning. I always warm up, just give me a little bit of time and I will warm up at boot camp, but she's cold. She is cold in the desert right now. This is kind of the coldest time of the year for us. And then come February, we're right back to our nice, warmer mornings. We are warm during the day. That's a question I get asked a lot. Usually high 60s, mid 70s. So it's beautiful and perfect during the day, but it is cold in the morning. So I am getting my workout in and then I'll be heading home to have some breakfast. I'm actually a little bit more hungry than normal this morning. We went to dinner with some friends last night at a hibachi grill, which was really good, but maybe I just didn't eat enough for dinner. And that's why I'm more hungry this morning, but I am a little bit extra hungry. So I'll be needing some breakfast as soon as I get home. I did make my protein coffee as always this morning. And I had about a quarter of it or so before I got ready to head to boot camp. So I'll finish that, get ready for the day, and then we'll make some breakfast together. But welcome to today's What I Eat in a Day. So here is my breakfast for today. Doesn't this look amazing? These are my little egg white bites that I made in my meal prep. They're so good. They're so creamy and fluffy. And then this is the whole wheat Western bagel, which is my favorite bagel. If you get the alternative, they're lower in carbs, lower in points. They have protein in them, fiber. I have a 10% discount for Western bagel. I'll link it down below for you. Then I added a teaspoon of Kerrygold butter, 40 grams of avocado, and some everything but the bagel seasoning. This is my favorite way to have avocado toast. If you don't put butter on your avocado toast, try it. It's game changing, it's so good. So this is breakfast and I can't wait. I wanna share with you my outfit of the day. I know I'm gonna get questions on this t-shirt. Is it not the cutest thing with the little Debbie Christmas tree cakes? I, like I mentioned in my previous What I Eat in a Day, I did another little mini haul at Shein. I've been trying to pick up a few more affordable pieces and Shein never disappoints. So my whole outfit today is from Shein and then I was going to show you the other couple of pieces that I picked up. So let's start with the obvious Christmas top. Again, little Debbie Christmas tree cake. The saying, oh Christmas tree. I love this. This is the Christmas print tee. It's only $3.91. It actually comes in green and pink in sizes small through extra large. I got mine in a large. It fits me perfectly. I find that with Shein's t-shirts especially, they're very true to size. This is really nice quality, really nice, and for four, less than $4, you can't beat it. And then my jeans also came from Shein. I've been really liking more of a skinny fit jean and then pairing that with a little booty. That's kind of been my vibe this winter. So I grabbed these jeans because I loved the dark wash of them as well as the distressing. These are the Essence Cat Whisker Ripped Skinny Jeans. They're $18.49. They come in waist sizes 26 through 32. I picked mine up in an eight to 10, women's eight to 10, and they fit me perfectly. They're tighter in the legs, which is kind of what I wanted from a skinny jean, and they, they're they really nice quality. I love the ripping and the distressing, and I just really love a good dark wash jean. And like I said, I've been loving pairing skinny jeans with boots, and wait until you see these boots that I picked up. Look at these boots. These are the Buckle Decor Thick Heel Lace Up Classic Boot. They're $28.89, they come in three different colors in sizes six through nine and a half. I picked mine up in a nine and a half and they are a little bit big on me. So my plan with these and what I'm wearing today is just a thicker, more boot style of sock. And then that way they fit a little bit better. So I would say that you could size down if you wanted a little bit tighter fit and then you can lace them a little bit tighter, but I love these. These are such nice quality for less than $30. Really love these boots. So I'm gonna put these back on because that is going 
going to be my outfit of the day, my Christmas tee, my jeans, and my boots. I am wearing a sports bra that came as part of a three-piece set. This set is so cute. So you're going to get all three pieces, the sports bra that I'm wearing, which is just a black square neck sports bra, and then you get this cute top that says peace, love, and sweat. This is a little bit thinner material, more on the see-through side, so you can see the cute little black sports bra underneath, and then you also get these fun leggings with this neon design. These are so buttery soft. They're a mix between a buttery soft fabric and a performance fabric. They're really nice quality. This is the Yoga Trendy three-piece set. It's $16.15, sizes small through extra large. I got mine in a large and they fit me perfectly. All three pieces for $16.15. Everything is really nice quality. Like I said, the leggings are really buttery soft. I love the tank top and the sports bra, super comfortable. You can't beat it. I'll definitely be wearing this to my next gym sesh. I also wanted to grab a little cropped hoodie. I've been wearing hoodies a lot to boot camp because it's cold here in the morning. I've been wearing them when I go to the gym, just out and about when I'm running errands. And this one actually is really cute with my little Christmas top. This is a brown cropped hoodie with a hood. So the zip up hooded hoodie. This is the Easy Wear Zip Up Drawstring Crop Hoodie. It's $11.29. It actually comes in seven different colors, sizes small through large. I got mine in a size large. It is definitely more of a fitted jacket. So if you want it to be a little bit looser, definitely size up. I typically wear a size large, that's what I picked up. And like I said, it is a little bit more fitted, but it's really nice quality. It's very soft and I do love the ribbing material, the ribbed material. And then this wider waistband is really flattering. It kind of camouflages the stomach area and I love that there's a hood. Now this next piece is a little bit out of my comfort zone. However, it's a big NSV for me that I can wear this and feel comfortable in it. And that is this one piece jumpsuit. This is a solid piece kind of cat suit. It is so soft. It's very soft. It is a little bit thinner material and it actually fully zips up in the back. So I don't know if you can see, but there's a full zipper. So it is made really, really well. This is the solid unitard jumpsuit. It's $14.66. Comes in sizes extra small through extra large. I got mine in a large and it fits me perfectly. It is tight like a jumpsuit unitard should be. Again, I love the material of it. It is the perfect length. This is such a cute piece and it's something that's actually really flattering to the figure and like I said big NSV that I would actually wear this in public I love this more than I thought that I would and I also thought it'd be kind of fun to pair with a puffy vest a denim jacket or just a jacket in general so let me show you the jacket that I picked up that pairs beautifully with this look at how cute this is this is so soft like blanket soft I love the plaid design of this and it is just a cute little cropped jacket. This is the plaid print flap crop jacket, $17.03. Comes in six different color patterns in sizes extra small through 4XL. I got mine in a large and it fits me great. It is a little bit oversized. I could have definitely sized down to a medium. So if you want a little bit snugger fit, size down, otherwise order true to size. The quality of this, 10 out of 10, out of 10. It is such nice quality. It's thick, it's warm, it's soft, and it pairs so cute with this unitard. And then I did also pick up a cute little white tank to wear under this that I thought would be really cute with jeans. And it's this little square neck tank top. I will say that square necked tops I think are flattering on everybody. And this again is so buttery soft. It is a nice thick material. It is not see-through at all. It's really nice quality. This is the Easy Wear Solid Crop Tank Top. $5.49. Comes in six colors. Sizes extra small through large. I got mine in a large and it fits me perfectly. Now it is cropped. If I pull it down, it sits right at my waist, which with the jacket on top and jeans, I think is really, really cute. And actually this jacket pairs beautifully with these dark wash jeans that I'm wearing. This outfit I thought was really, really fun for winter. And then I picked up two pairs of pajamas. Now I did get short pajamas. I'm just more comfortable wearing shorts to sleep. I can just add extra blankets if I'm cold. So I picked up two pajama sets. First is this fun set right here. It's a little bit of that heathered look to it in this navy blue. And then it comes with a matching tank top. So it's actually a two-piece set. This is the solid tank top and not front lounge set. 
$10.49, comes in blue and pink, sizes small through extra large. Mine's in a large and they fit me, they're loose, they're flowy as pajamas should be. I could have sized down to a medium, so if you're in between sizes, if you want a little bit less flowy fit, size down, but these are really nice. They're very, very soft and perfect length of tank top, perfect length of shorts, nothing cropped if you're not into cropped. This is perfect, and this is just a really nice pajama set. I think I may order the pink one as well. And then I got a black set, again, a short set. I think these are so cute. I love the little ribbon on them. I love that the cuff of these have that little see-through material, and then it comes, again, with a matching tank top that has the little see-through around the neck. This is so soft. This is definitely a more silky, flowy material. This is the mesh insert rib neck tank top in shorts. $9.99 for both pieces in sizes small through extra large. Mine's a large, they fit me perfectly. If you want a little bit more silky pajama set, this is perfect. If you want a little bit more cotton, warm jersey type of set, this one is perfect. I love these both. These are both so nice. And honestly, if this black set came in other colors, I would buy other colors of it because it's just the perfect pajama material. Shein is definitely your one-stop shop for all of your holiday and winter wear. I've loved everything I picked up from them. I can't wait to wear all of the pieces in this haul. I will go ahead and down in the description box, link each of the items that I ordered, as well as a coupon code for you to save even more money off of the already low Shein prices. And you do get free shipping over $29 and they always offer no hassle return. So it's a win-win. I personally never had to return anything to Shein because everything I've received has been such great quality. And these pieces are no exception. So I'll link it all down below for you with that coupon code. Are you ready for your advent calendars? Okay, let's do it. So we're gonna do the dog's advent calendars, day number 11. Ooh, there's two today, two little salmon treats. Salmon treat for you for day 11. And for you, I usually give the other two to Lola since she doesn't have a toy. So let's do Palmer's day 11 toy. He's going to be really sad. He only has one more day. Well, this is a very exciting day 11. Oh, is it a new ball? Oh, yay, I got a new ball. Good job. Oh, do you want, oh, okay. Well, we're going to have to give him one of these. Did you drop your ball so you could have a treat? Okay, well, this for you and that for you. Now get your new ball. Get your new ball. Get it. Get your ball. Yeah, good job, buddy. Good job. Hi, baby. Okay, and then my day 11 of my chocolate advent. It's a little chocolate drum. And then the best advent calendar from Chalk Zero. Let's go day 11. And we got our chocolate Santa. There he is, this calendar, you guys. Amazing, amazing, amazing. So these are my treats for today. And no, I don't track my advent calendar goodies. So I just finished breakfast. I'm going to get some water going for the day. My goal is to drink at least three of these every day. I typically get that in sometimes four. And since I just finished my workout, just finished breakfast, I kind of want to optimize what happened at my workout. I want to optimize fat burning, energy, focus. So I'm actually going to put some of my favorite Motivate Burn in with my water for this morning. This is the cherry lemonade, which is one of my favorite burn flavors. And what's really exciting is Motivate has the cherry lemonade in stick packs now. I was so excited about this. I picked these up. I love, love, love the stick packs for travel. I have them in my car, in my purse, in my desk drawer. It's one serving of burn in a stick pack ready to go. So much easier for on the go than the actual tub. I always have the tubs at home because I just put a scoop in my water. But if I need something quick and easy and on the go, these stick packs are amazing. And I'm so excited that they put one of my favorite burn flavors in the stick pack. I love to have burn as a mid-morning or mid-afternoon pick-me-up because it does give you that increased energy and focus. But some of my favorite benefits of burn, including help includes helping to increase your metabolism, which we all need an increased metabolism, especially if we're on a weight loss journey. Fat burning is one of my favorite benefits of burn. I love that it offers increased fat burning by increasing your metabolism and just burning through that stubborn fat, which again is perfect timing post-workout and really just having burn throughout the entire day helps burn fat and also reduces your appetite. And again, on a weight loss journey in a calorie deficit, if we can get our appetite reduced even just a little 
little bit, that's another huge benefit. So I have my burn ready to go. Again, I'm so stinking excited about the stick packs. They do have a lot of the other burn flavors in stick packs. This is just new to the line, the cherry lemonade. And they also have the no stim burn, both in the stick packs and then the tub. You're going to get the same energy, focus, metabolism boost, fat burning, and appetite control with the no stim. It just doesn't have caffeine. So if you're sensitive to caffeine, the no stim is a great option. You already know. I've been using burn for well over a year now and it's one of the staples. So whether you choose the regular burn or the no stim burn, they're both excellent and they offer the same amazing benefits. I do have a 20% off discount for Motivate. I'll link it down below for you. You know I take a lot of their other supplements as well, but burn is 100% my go-to for metabolism boosting, fat burning, and appetite control. Down the whiskey, I love Christmas music. I love listening to it in my car when I'm out running around. I usually start listening to it the day after Thanksgiving through the holidays. We do have a station here in Tucson that plays Christmas music 24 hours a day through the holidays, which I love. I am actually out to run a couple of errands. It's about nine in the morning. I need to get these errands run and get home because Troy unfortunately is heading to the doctor today. For the last week or so, his knee has really been bothering him. It feels like it's swollen and inflamed. Well, it's progressively getting worse every single day. And as of last night, he said he could barely make it from the living room to the bed and he's just in a lot of pain. It's red and swollen. And he says if he pushes on it, it feels like there's fluid in there. So. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, it's not the same thing that happened to his elbow. I don't know if you guys remember, I don't know, it's been a few months ago during the summer, Troy ended up in the hospital because he had a septic joint in his elbow and had to have surgery and have all the infection removed. He says that's kind of what it feels like in his knee and I am hoping that that is not the case. But because it's progressively getting worse, he definitely needs to go to the doctor. So I have to get a couple errands run so I can get home. I want to be home when he goes to the doctor in case he needs anything. And in the event that he has to go to the hospital, I want to be fully ready and available for him. I do have some coaching calls today, so it makes sense for me just to stay home, but I'm worried about him. He's extremely miserable. It's very, very painful for him. It, like I said, similar to his elbow, it hurts him just to touch his knee. So I will give you guys updates throughout the day today as I learn more, but I'm really glad that he's decided to just go ahead and head to urgent care this morning. So I'm doing a quick few errands. First errand, we're going to the post office so that I can mail a package. I have Christmas cards to mail from my Christmas card exchange in my Facebook group. I need to go to the UPS store. I have a couple returns. These little bones we got for Palmer. They're puppy bones and they're too soft and he eats them and swallows them and then they end up in his poop. So we're returning those. And then I have these halogen bulbs. So I have a wax burner in my house that takes these weird bulbs instead of like a traditional wax burner bulb. They actually use these like halogen bulbs. Well, I bought, it burned out. So I bought these on Amazon and the prongs aren't far enough apart. So they don't work. I don't know what bulbs to buy. We're gonna make a quick stop to the UPS store. I'm gonna get a coffee at Dutch Brothers. I'm gonna share with you guys one of my favorite holiday drinks at Dutch Brothers. Actually, you could probably order this anywhere. Um, you could probably get this same holiday drink really anywhere, but I love it at Dutch Brothers. So we're gonna get that. I was originally thinking I might go to Ross, but I have a call in about an hour and 10 minutes and I just don't know if I'm going to have time to make another stop. But like I said, I want to get home when Troy gets up and decides to go to the doctor. So let's get these errands ran. Next stop, Dutch Brothers for my favorite holiday coffee. Okay, so I got my coffee from Dutch Brothers. So what I get is a medium iced Americano or 24 ounce iced Americano, four shots. And then I get their sugar-free peppermint bark flavoring, but half the flavor and then half the amount of cream, just so that it's definitely more coffee, less cream, less sweet, less calories, less points, but you still get the peppermint bark flavor. And I'm not 100% sure what the Dutch Brothers peppermint bark is, but I'm assuming maybe white chocolate and peppermint and it's sugar-free, it's so good. I counted as two points, one for the cream, one for the flavor. I'm not 100% sure, but this isn't an exact science. We just want to track something rather than nothing. So I'm going to count this as two points. It's amazing, it's delicious. And I just looked at my schedule and my coaching call isn't until 11. So I'm parked at Ross. I am gonna run into Ross. 
I'm on the hunt for a few more Christmassy things and gifty things. I'm wrapping up all my gifts for the holidays. So let's go in and see what Ross has in the form of Christmas. If anything, it's probably pretty picked over. And cheers for our peppermint bark. So this is it, Ross, speaking of peppermint bark. I've never tried this from the Skinny Syrups, but zero calories, so that's an option for a zero calorie, zero point peppermint bark coffee. So Ross was a bit of a bust. I was really looking for Christmas things and they virtually had nothing. Lots of gift bags, gift tags, wrapping paper, that kind of thing, but decor, as I suspected, was pretty picked over. But I did get a couple things, so I wanted to show you what I got, just a quick little in the car Ross haul. So I got these little squeaky toys for Palmer. These are literally the only squeaky toys he doesn't completely trash. They do have like two big squeakers, like cylinder squeakers. He loves them and he doesn't completely trash those all over my house. And those were $4.99 for two. And then I had to get him this one for his stocking. This one was $3.99. How stinking cute is this? It's so cute. So I had to get him that. I did pick up these dog treats, these sweet potato chicken wrap, really good ingredients, literally just chicken and sweet potato. So I thought that they would like those. And then the last thing I picked up was this candle. Look how cute this is. It has a little gnome on it. It's mistletoe and citrus and it smells so good. It smells like a Christmas tree. And I just thought it was really cute and it was only $5.99. So my total was right around $20. So not bad at all. Little bit of a bust. I thought about heading over to TJ Maxx, but I'm suspecting that it's going to be just as picked over as Ross was. So we are actually going to go ahead and head to the UPS store to drop those things, to drop those Amazon returns off. Last stop UPS store and it doesn't look insanely busy. So that was so easy. There wasn't a long line, which I was shocked about, but they have a little machine there that you can do your own Amazon return. So I, that's all I did is just scan the barcode, put it in a baggie, printed a receipt, done and done. Let's go ahead and head home and see how Troy's coming along with going to the doctor. I'm going to throw some chili in the crock pot for dinner. I'm excited for this. This is a high protein, high fiber chili. It's the perfect day for chili. It's about 50 degrees today. So we definitely need some chili. So let me show you what you'll need. So for spices, you'll need cumin, chili pepper, paprika, and oregano. It also calls for cayenne pepper, which I'm skipping. And you'll need salt and pepper, minced garlic, lots of canned goods. You'll need a can of black beans, kidney beans, corn, diced tomatoes, a tiny little can of tomato sauce, and then some fire roasted fire roasted diced green chilies. I'm going to do a pound of 93% ground beef and a pound of 93% turkey. That way it'll lower the points fat, but I'll still get lots and lots of protein, a bell pepper, and an onion. So the first thing I'm going to do is get my ground beef and ground turkey cooked up until brown. And then I'm going to dice up my onion and my bell pepper. Once your meat is brown and you've drained all the fat, we're going to add in a big scoop of minced garlic our diced up onion, and our diced up bell pepper. And we're going to let that cook down for just a couple of minutes. You can leave your veggies al dente, but you do want them to start to soften. We're going to transfer the meat and veggie mixture to our slow cooker. And then we're adding all the rest of the ingredients. So our can of diced green chilies, the can of tomato sauce, the undrained can of kidney beans, and the undrained can of black beans, the big can of crushed tomatoes, and your undrained can of corn. You can also add in some beef broth if you like a little bit thinner chili, but I want this to be a nice, thick, hearty chili, so I am not going to add in any broth. I'm just going to give this a quick stir, and then we'll add in all of our spices. First up is salt and pepper. cumin, chili powder, paprika, and oregano, and then you would also add in your cayenne pepper as well. Give that a big stir, and you can cook this on high heat for three to four hours, or low heat for six to eight. I am going to start at six to eight hours on low heat. I can bump it up to high if it gets closer to dinner and the chili is not quite ready, but let's get the lid on this and get it cooking. We just dropped Troy off at the Urgent Care. We're gonna try Urgent Care first. We're not sure what's going on with his knee. We were a little concerned that it may be a blood clot, but he said he doesn't think that it is because it's not 
hot. It is a little bit red, but it's not hot. And that's indicative for him when he does have a blood clot. It could also be gout. He does suffer from gout. He has really high uric acid. So it could be that. It could also be, which hopefully it's not, the same thing that happened with his elbow, like we talked about earlier, like the septic, septus joint. So unfortunately, the issue with the urgent care is the doctor is lovely here. She's the nicest doctor. I wish she could be our regular doctor. But the issue with the urgent care is that they don't have any equipment. There's no ultrasound. There's no x-ray. So if there is anything that needs to be done to determine the issue, he would need to go to the ER, which is actually right by our house. But I asked him what he wanted to do. And he said he was going to go ahead and start at the urgent care because they have his records of his elbow and everything. And then in hopes that he doesn't have to go to the ER. So I just dropped him off. I'll keep you guys posted. He's going to let me know how long the wait is. And then once he sees the doctor, he'll give me an update. So here is my lunch for today. So we barbecued some burgers on our grill the other night. So this is a 93.7 patty. I have ketchup, mustard, light mayo, and then this is one of the Walmart buns. And then I'm going to have some of the Quest protein chips and loaded taco. They're my all-time favorite. I love these. There's actually 19 grams of protein. So a really good chip option. And in my opinion, the loaded taco are the best quest chips i buy mine off of nutrition so that is going to be my lunch for today all right i'm on my way to pick troy up from the urgent care so she's not a hundred percent with what's wrong with him she's confident that it's not a blood clot so that's good news we kind of thought it wasn't a blood clot she said most likely it's either gout which troy suffers from uh, like i mentioned he has high uric acid in his body so it's either gout or it's septic like it was with his elbow she's not 100 percent sure so what she's doing is she's actually going to give him a steroid and we're going to see if that helps and she said if it gets worse or that doesn't help then he needs to go to the er so i'll go pick up his steroid prescription for him a little bit later today but good news is it's not a blood clot bad news is it could be septic we're not sure time will tell I'm going to have an afternoon snack. I'm a little bit hungry, but I'm hungry enough that I don't think I'll make it till dinner. So I'm going to do just a high protein yummy snack. I'm going to actually do three quarters of a cup of Daisy Light Cottage Cheese. That's going to give me a little bit more protein, be a little bit more filling. And then I'm going to top it with some pineapple, probably about 100 grams of pineapple. And that's going to be my snack. Again, super quick, super simple. So here's my snack. I'm excited for this cottage cheese. Pineapple, one of my very favorite high protein, healthy carb snacks. All right, the chili is done. I'm going to go ahead and serve it up. I'm going to add some light shredded cheese, some saltine crackers, and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here is my dinner. I'm very excited for this. Packed with protein, packed with fiber. Ever, all the information is here on the screen for you. So I'm gonna make a yogurt bowl for dessert tonight. I haven't had a yogurt bowl in a hot minute and I love them. So let me show you what I'm putting in my bowl and then I'll show you how I put it together. So I'm going to do one of the Oikos triple zero yogurts. This particular flavor is strawberry. This is going to give me 15 grams of protein. And then I'm going to top it with one tablespoon of Chia Smash. This is the raspberry Chia Smash. If you haven't tried this, I highly recommend it. It has four ingredients, fruit, lemon, honey, and chia seeds. And it is so good. It's kind of like a fruity jam. So I'm going to put one tablespoon of that. I do buy this on Amazon. So I'll link it down below. Some fresh raspberries, probably between 50 and 100 grams. I'm going to put about a half a tablespoon of cocoa nibs. These are really, really good for you. Have antioxidants and it's going to give it a little bit of a chocolate flair. And then I'm going to do half of a tablespoon of hemp seeds, a great source of fat, great source of protein, adds a good crunch, nutty texture to the yogurt bowl. And then lastly, I'm going to do a couple tablespoons of granola. This is the Good and Gather Honey Granola. Any granola will work. That's just really going to give it some crunch. So here's my dessert, my yogurt bowl. I can't tell you how excited I am about this. I'll go, <coughs> apparently something exciting was happening. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. Thank you for joining me 
for today's What I Eat in a Day on WW. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me, seeing all the good food that I ate. I'll definitely keep you guys updated on Troy. Everything I shared with you in today's video will be down in the description box, along with my recipe website, where you will find the really good chili recipe, as well as nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye!